<laughs> Stefano Roy and his father, a sea captain and owner of a sailing ship, are out on sea as Stefano's birthday present. This is Stefano's first time on a ship, and he just noticed something in the distance. Barbo, come here. What are you talking about? Father, I'm scared. There's something arising afar. That isn't an object, my boy. That is the caliber. A commander. Yes. Suck that all sailors fear. The shark has obviously chosen you as its victim, son. You must promise me to never become a sea captain as long as you live. Oh, I shall never become a captain of the sea because of you. <laughs> Since Stefano Roy wasn't allowed in the sea, he pursued another path and began studying in an inland city, far from his father and the sea. He stopped thinking about the Columber and instead got distracted by his new surroundings. When he returned during the summer, though, he always ended up at the end of the dock looking for his monster. He's not there. He's not hunting you later. Stefano, joyed by knowing that the Columber was done trying to attack him, began studying to become a sea captain. He finally began sailing, giving proof of his seaworthiness by resisting fatigue, having a spearless spirit, and sailing through the day and night, good weather and storms. One day he thought he saw something in the distance while sailing with his companions. Don't you see anything over there? I don't see anything at all. Oh, no. Why? I thought for a second Columber would be over there following us. That's what? Oh. The Columbus spares no one. What about this dude? <laughs> Today will be the day you die, Columber. Let's go. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Everybody look at me because I'm sailing. Finally, you let me read to you. I have an important delivery from the king of the sea. How wrong was I to flee from you? I have ruined your life. Goodbye, poor thing.